bad is it? What's the worst that can happen? This is a helpful <coughs> cognitive technique. First of all, how bad is it? Well, we have to be honest with ourselves. Is it horrible? Is it terrible? Can you stand it? Well, you can stand it. And if you can stand it, it probably isn't horrible. It might be extremely unpleasant. It might be sad. It might be life-altering. But Al Ellis used to say, no matter how bad things are, they can always be worse. And I went to a lecture in Philly once uh, where he was the uh, lecturer. And a person got up in the audience and they said, uh, Dr. Ellis, you always say that things could be worse. But what about if you were being tortured to death by someone slowly flaying your skin off your body? Isn't that a nice image? <laughs> and Dr. Ellis thought for a moment, and he said, it could always be slower. Now, that's a fairly extreme example. But telling ourselves I can stand this lowers the temperature. It's not a matter when we're trying to be rational, when we're trying not to get overly upset. It's not a matter of denying that we don't feel good. It's a matter of going from, oh my god, I'm going to die if this doesn't stop, to, well, that's pretty darn unpleasant. Feels different. And the way you think is the way you feel. You change your mind, you change the way you think. Well, wait a minute, that doesn't, you change your mind, you change the way you feel. Of course, if you change your mind, you change the way you think. Okay, don't shoot on yourself. I cannot, I cannot accurately communicate to you how often people say, I should have done this, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, if only I did. Oh, I should. And they also talk about it prospectively. I know I should stop smoking cigarettes. I know I should lose weight. I know I should stop, you know, shooting heroin into my veins. I mean, I, I should stop doing, I should start doing, oh, I know I should go back to school. I know I should change my job. This is all nonsense. Who says? Don't shoot on yourself. Instead of what you should do, what you must do, what you need to do, substitute what you're going to do. Either do it or don't do it. If it's within your power, when people say, I should do this, it's a way of letting themselves off the hook. And when people say, I need to do this, it's like, it's like telling the person you're in a relationship with, well, I know it's unhealthy for me to smoke cigarettes, and I know I should stop. I feel really bad about it. Well, who cares? Who cares? I guarantee your significant other doesn't care. If they don't like you smoking, they want you to stop. The world doesn't care. I don't care. If you care, stop doing it. But if you don't stop doing it, don't tell yourself what you should do. Okay? What you should do, if you smoke cigarettes, what you should do is enjoy your cigarettes. That's what you should do. You should, you know, I see, I grew up, and a lot of you grew up at a time when it was normative to smoke cigarettes. So you could, you know, people used to hand out cigarettes at parties. They still do, but it's not tobacco. <laughs> but, you know, so everybody smoked. But now you go to buildings, you know, at like 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, and you see these furtive people, you know, smoking in their little sections that the company say, if you're going to do this, you have to do this in this square, in this little park. And so everybody's like, ooh, look at them, ooh, they smoke. <laughs> I'm going to tell you the healthier thing to do. If you smoke and you're not going to stop, you should be strutting around with your cigarette. You should be, this is the best cigarette that I've had today. This is my 40th cigarette today, and it tastes as good as the first one that I lit up before I got out of bed. <laughs> Why would you feel bad about something that you're going to do? 
<laughs> Same thing with diet or eating bad food. Whatever bad food is, you know, you fill it in. Why would you make yourself feel badly about that? If you want to eat the food, don't hide it. Don't apologize. Oh, I know I should lose weight. No, you shouldn't. <laughs> you know, you could, you could continue being obese. You can get diabetes. You can die. There are consequences for behavior, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't do it. And if you're going to do it, Man, do it. <laughs> Love that food. Eat that food. Eat, you know, take another piece of pie. Put ice cream on it. Don't, don't skip the whipped cream. If you're, you know, people, it's like, well, I only ate two pieces, but I didn't put the ice cream. <laughs> you already had 1,200 calories at dessert. What the heck is the difference? Have 1,400 calories. <laughs> When people come into my office and they tell me they're going to try and do something that's within their power, I know that they're not going to succeed. And I tell them, they say, no, you're not. You're going to, you know, touch around with it for a couple of months, and then you're going to go back to what you're doing. And they get all hot and bothered. Well, how can you say that? You don't know I'm going to do it. I say, no, I can say it because you're not willing to make the commitment. You're not willing to say, this is what I'm going to do, and this is what I'm not going to do. When people do that, it increases the probability that they're going to achieve what they want to achieve. But don't allow other people to make you feel bad about your habits. You're allowed to do what you want to do, as long as you're not, you know, beating somebody over the head all the time. What are you complaining about? I have no idea what this slide means. I put this slide up here. I have no idea what it means. One time I did, but I don't anymore. And this slide too. <laughs> this is what I want to do. Do or do not, there is no try. This from an animatronic creature is wisdom. You know, Yoda, that was the best thing that came out of those movies. Do or do not, there is no try. If you have the ability, the only thing you should try and do are things that you really don't have control over, and you might not be able to be successful. So, you know, if you say, I'm going to run this distance and this time, you may or may not be able to do it. What you have control over is your training, but you don't, you know, there are certain inborn limits that each of us have, and you may not be able to achieve that particular goal. But you can achieve all the intermediate steps, and that's when you can say, look, I'm going to try and do this. I'm going to try and win this contest. Well, you don't have control over whether you win a contest, but you can try. 